over the course of 25 years, this whole process has taken more casualties than just my memory. I have entire blocks of time, in some cases years, that have been completely hidden from my memory now. But every now and then, little bits and pieces come floating back. Some drop in light as a feather, while others make a pretty abrupt impact. Like a piece of emotional shrapnel. And sometimes with that comes consequences. I have hurt a lot of people, including myself. A seemingly insurmountable amount of hurts from relationships past. Especially my children. I had no idea why I was unable to function as a father and a husband. On click goes, the population of Somali veterans is smaller than most campaigns by comparison. I could not have felt more polarized by that. I needed help and I had no one to reach out to. It was no wonder my first marriage disintegrated. I was isolated and distrusting of everyone. So much so that my ex-wife of eight years still knows very little about my childhood, even to this day. Yes, apparently I've always had big time trust issues. Imagine that. We separated and reconciled a number of times and in the last attempt, which also failed miserably as a marriage, resulted in our twins, Austin and Bailey. They were less than a year old when we divorced. I was overjoyed, but that diminished quickly as I felt like an epic failure. Like me, our boys now experienced a broken home. I felt as though no matter what I did, that I was destined to fail. I had children that I love and I was seemingly incapable of being a decent parent. It was not long before my ex moved the boys back to Tennessee near Fort Campbell and her parents. We were quickly estranged, if that makes any sense. I was serving in Fort Bragg and it was practically impossible to see them. Every thought or mention of Mogadishu was like a flashbang grenade going off in my face. And it really didn't help that I was obsessed with finding out down to the last man slot and MOS, including my own, exactly what happened. And every time I would isolate myself more and more. I never talked about Mogadishu and rarely made mention of it, especially professionally. Most veterans I met were very cordial and some even to be, seemed to be even surprised. 